What's up, Heat Nation? Your boy Ernest here, and I am back on another Miami Heat Talk adventure. Before we get started, you know what I'm going to ask. Smash the like button, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe. There's about 60% of you guys that are not subscribed to the channel that watch these videos. Uh, I know a lot of people like to troll, maybe hate on the comments, and that's fine. But if you're going to do that, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and help your boy out. It takes five seconds to do so, maybe even less. Now, uh, I'm in a good mood, y'all, and I'm sure all Heat fans are, because the Miami Heat last night defeated the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, I posted a short on it last night, but let's talk about it a little bit, because our boy Jimmy Hemi Butler is back. Jimmy was gone for two games, came back, ripped ass. Last night, Jimmy gives you 30 points, four rebounds, five assists, four steals. For those people that think that Jimmy Butler is washed, for those that think that Jimmy Butler can't do it anymore, <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. You don't know basketball. That's just a fact. Jimmy Butler is him. Jimmy Butler is that mf -er. And for those people that don't believe that Jimmy Butler can take this team and win an NBA championship, it's because you're forgetting what Jimmy Butler does. You know, there's this whole thing about Miami Heat bandwagon fans that, I mean, it doesn't drive me crazy because it's expected. That's just how bandwagon fans are. They're with us from April to June. They're loving what Jimmy Butler does. They're calling him Himmy. They're calling him him. They're posting videos on social media. But the moment that things seem bleak, in January, February, where Jimmy's not giving hit his all, when Jimmy's not doing the performances that people think that he should be doing, People lose faith. People say we should trade Jimmy. People say they're done. But then they jump on the bandwagon back in the playoffs. Now look, I'll, I get it, y'all. It's frustrating having Jimmy Butler on the team sometimes. It's kind of similar to what Kawhi Leonard, um, Kyrie Irving, and James Harden used to do. All those load management games. I've said it in the past, y'all. I've said it in the beginning of the season. I'm not a fan of load management. I'm not a fan of taking my family, spending hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands, in an NBA game to see a player who doesn't play because he's resting. That's a load of bullshit. I've never understand that. I've never liked that. But what we saw last season, what we saw Jimmy Butler do in the playoffs, it was because of load management he was having last season. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I mean, I saw a 35 year old Michael Jordan in the last dance bust ass for 82 games in the season, go in the playoffs and win an NBA championship. We know that players are not built like they used to be. But for those that say trade Jimmy Butler and give up on Jimmy Butler, I'm sorry, y'all. You jumped off the bandwagon. You're not allowed back on. That's just a fact. So bye bye, bandwagon fans. Moving on. Got to give props to Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier is showing that he's becoming that dude for the Miami Heat. He gives you 24 points, three rebounds, two assists. The Heat were down by four. And Terry Rozier, with less than a minute left, hits you that step back three and one, ties the game, and shuts it down with two free throws. Showing that when it comes to crunch time, you don't only have to give the ball to Jimmy Butler. You can give it to Terry Rozier. It was funny because last night when we were down by four, my wife and I were watching the game and she says, babe, who would you give the ball to? I said, no question, Rozier. And then he got it in his hands. I'm loving seeing Terry Rozier do his thing. You also get 14 points from Nikola Jovic. Huge game from Nikola Jovic last night. Without Bam Adebayo, he plays center in the fourth quarter. And I'm going to give a shout out to my boy Amir at Team to Beat Miami Heat. Because last night we were talking about it and I'm like, bro, why do they got Jovic as the, as the five playing against Jared Allen? They should have maybe Thomas Bryant. And he was like, nah, Jovic is having a much better game. And it paid off. I got to give Nikola Jovic props. 14 points, 6 rebounds, 4 for 10 from the 3-point line, showing his range. You get 10 points from Patty Mills, who starts. Wow. 6 points and 10 rebounds from Thomas Bryant, who starts. And in the bench, you get productivity. You get 7 points from Jaime Jaquez, 8 points from Orlando Robinson, 4 points from Caleb Martin. Is it good? Not really, but it's good enough. The Heat win this game, okay? So the Miami Heat right now, you guys, were 38 and 31, seventh seed in the Eastern Conference, half a game down from the sixth seed. So there's no need to panic. We got 13 games left, y'all. We're only two and a half, uh, about three, two and a half, three games down from the fifth seed. 
So it's not over. I understand that that loss against Philadelphia was bad. It was bad because I'm telling y'all right now, I know the Heat are above Philadelphia, but it's like I said yesterday, you guys, that loss against Philadelphia reminded me of last year, that game against Brooklyn. That game that if you look at, when you look at the, at the records and you go, the Heat just won that game, it would have put us in another level. So I hope that doesn't bite us in the ass again this year because that loss in Philadelphia hit us with the tiebreaker. And now things might get, might get a little bit difficult for the Heat. Thank God we got 13 games left and the Heat can turn this around. Uh, you got New Orleans on Friday. You got Cleveland again. So let's see what happened these two games. I think that he can definitely win these games. Now, moving on, how are we going to win these games? How are we going to stay afloat? Health. We need our players back. We won this game without Bam out of bio. We can't win a lot without Bam. Duncan Robinson is our sniper. We're missing those two guys. We're missing Tyler Hero. We need our guys back. I said it yesterday, y'all, and I'm going to say it again. This Miami Heat team cannot win the NBA championship without a fully healthy roster. Josh Richardson is one thing, but if you don't have Tyler Hero in the playoffs, that's, that's a recipe for disaster, my opinion. Now, the good news is Bam Adebayo and Duncan Hero are both listed as questionable. I don't think they're going to play against New Orleans and Miami. Maybe not. Maybe they will. They're both considered day-to-day. -day. If you ask me, y'all... I really want Bam to play on Friday. You're playing against some big. Uh, you're, gonna, you're playing against some big boys out there against, uh, against New Orleans. You're gonna need Bam Adebayo out there. Duncan Robinson, if he's not 100%, don't play. I mean, at this point, you guys, the last thing we want to risk is further injuring our players. You know, we're a play-in team right now. So right now, you want to get the hell out of that play-in. All right, and what, that's what the Heat need to do. So right now, it's not about resting games. And I know Martell from Miami Heat Zone Podcast said in the last round table that the last five games of the season, he doesn't really want Bam or Jimmy to play. And I understand that. And I think he's right. But the way that things are going, we're going to need to play to the nitty gritty time. And that sucks, man. Because I would have loved for Jimmy and Bam, you know, to get a few days, to get a few games off. You know, the Heat have a comfortable lead in the sixth seed or, or fourth, fifth seed, and then they could rest their players. But that's not what it's going to be, y'all. This is how the Heat like to do it. Apparently, they love to just make us frustrated because <laughs> that's just what it is. We're a playoff team. We're not an in-season team. And that, that causes my question for y'all today. Is the 2024 NBA season for the Miami Heat reminding you guys about 2021? If you guys, uh, if, if, if you guys have forgotten, since the Jimmy Butler era that we've had him, we've made the Eastern Conference Finals an NBA championship basically every year, except for one year, 2021. Now, that was the year after the bubble. The bubble ended in the, the end of October. Season started in December of 2020. So the Heat players didn't really have a lot of rest. The Heat were coasting through the season. You had your ups. You had your downs. They were able to make it out of the play-in tournament as a sixth seed. We got swept by Milwaukee in the first round. Now, why am I asking this? Well, because this season was very similar to 2021. The Heat couldn't stay afloat. But for those of you that have been following me for a while, last year, I'm sure you remember, I asked the same question. I figured that every other season was not the Miami Heat's year. 2020, we made the NBA championship. 2021, we got bounced in the first round. 2022, we made the Eastern Finals. And in 2023, I'm thinking, we might not be able to do it. But look at the run that we had. But now, guys, this season, 2024, do you guys think that it's similar? to the 2021 season, or do you think like me? No, there's not gonna be another 2021 season. I believe in this Heat roster. We're better than that 2021 year. This roster on paper right now is a lot better than the 2021 Miami Heat. I am confident, you guys, and I fully believe that this team can win an NBA championship. There's only one thing that's holding us back, health. The most consistent thing for this Miami Heat roster all season long has been we've been consistently injured. But if we can turn that around in the playoffs, you guys, I'm telling y'all, nobody wants this smoke in the seven game series. So I want to hear from you guys. Do you believe that the 2024 Miami Heat season is going to be similar to the 2021 season? Or do you think we're going to make another breakthrough again this year?
Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the uh, Duncan Robinson Bam out of bio injury. Do you feel Tyler Hero will come back by the playoffs or not? Let me know in the comments, you guys. Don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We on the road to 4,000 subscribers, and I need you guys' help to get there. Thank you so much for the love and support. Until next time, your boy Ernest out. That's enough said.